Today I'm going to show you how I get tarnish and water deposits off of copper tea kettles. I, I'm sure it would work for stainless steel or any other solid metal. You wouldn't want to do a plated one, but this one um, I did earlier. This one I, and I'm sure somebody might freeze because I'm taking the pentine off or whatever it is that they call it when it's got, you know, use and age, but this was completely black. The entire um, teapot was that color black, the darkest black. And you couldn't see any, any copper on the bottom. And this is after <laughs> two days in the sink spraying it. But I'm kind of lazy and I didn't want to use a, um, any kind of a polish because it takes a lot of arm work and also scratches it sometimes. So I'm sure this is probably no better, but um, this one was blackened with grease. It had been on the stove next to a um, grease, and so it had black, thick, chunky stuff as well as being tarnished. And this one, you can see, has some of that little black stuff on it, but the other one was covered. The entire thing was black like that. But when when you get those black spots, after you get it to this point, you can just use your fingernail you can see they're coming off easily. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a Brillo or an abrasive cleaner on them so they don't scratch, but the easiest way I have found, because <laughs> I'm lazy, and I will find the easiest way to do things, is <laughs> Totally Awesome's Rust, Lime, and Calcium Cleaner. Um, I have used the orange Totally Awesome and the regular Totally Awesome. They're a dollar a bottle at um, a dollar store, Dollar Tree, any of those dollar places. And um, I just, I started with this one, and it did take off the, kind of the greasy outer co coating, but when I want to get this tarnish off, um, and I left this one, I could have gotten this one more copper, but I liked that kind of look because it's a decoration in my house. And you can check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, to see um, where I, how I use them in decorating. But, um, so I just take the CLR, Stuff. It's not actual CLR. You can use CLR, but I actually like this one because it's cheap. I spray it, and then I did spray the bottom as well. And you can see which side I've sprayed more because this side needs more of that spin at the back. So you just spray like that and let it sit. And about an hour later, I come back, spray it again. And I've been doing that for two days, and you can see the top is pretty much clear now. And on the inside, I need to do a little bit more on the inside because I haven't done much on there. But anyway, because it's for decorations, I haven't really cared about the inside. But that's how I get tarnish off of copper tea kettles and pots.